Hi, welcome to a new video. I look in a different attire than normal. I'm in my work clothes. I've just had to go to a customer's today, an emergency, like um, paint of a pond because it was leaking. Um, but I've got to go back tomorrow. And where it is, there's a, literally a pulling around about five minutes away. And I'm only about half an hour from home. But I thought, well, I mean, literally we've got an hour before sunset so why not do a bit of sunset photography we're looking out onto fields and everything else here so maybe not any good i don't know but at least probably another night out in the van because it saves me half an hour drive back half an hour drive in the morning and like i say my body it has killed me today so anyway so yeah i'm going to get changed and uh, we'll just have a quick wonder anyway so i hope you stay with me for this little video Right, sorry about any road noise because where I am it's a junction basically between two main roads so there is a bit in it's basically rush hour um, but you can see the campers behind me here and I'm hopefully going to try and stop over here and all I'm going to do is just have a wander down the road because it's open to fields and everything unfortunately there's not that many clouds in the sky where the sun is setting there is behind me so we'll just have a wonder and see what we can see anyway. I mean, you're probably thinking, well, why do I have my camera and spare pair of clothes and everything in the camper? Well, basically because of the way that I work and my body doesn't like me sometimes, I always have those spare ready and waiting just in case that I can't basically drive back home or anything like that. Because then I can just pull over and hopefully get some nice photos. Because, you know, at the end of the day, I've got to try and use this camper because I don't really use it that, all, that much really. So anyway, we're just walking a longer path, looking out to the fields by the side of me here and uh, yeah hopefully some nice pictures but I very much doubt it. walk down the road a little bit on the main road and um, there's a little footpath um, but I just should have said where I am I'm basically by a place called Whittington not far from Whittington barracks but basically I was looking to get anything like towards the sun but there's literally no cloud that way but then behind me there is which you know I didn't need to walk that far and that is lighting up and again views across the field so hopefully a nice picture see behind me the colours are really nice there's not that much cloud um, but there's a little bit of nice colour and I mean just behind me this is a farmer's field so I can't really go in it because it's now public right away but I've got a few shots that way because it is looking like a moody kind of thing I don't know like I say this was un well it's not was unexpected I always plan for these kind of things because I mean I knew this pulling was here anyway because I've drove past it god knows how many times and I thought well it may be worth doing it I mean the thing is is looking for the cloud coverage tomorrow there's going to be no cloud coverage so I don't know but I'm enjoying this anyway just getting one or two shots it's better like I say it's better than being at home because I would have drove back and just watched telly so and I can do that in the camper anyway Well, that's it up for the colour now for photography but again the thing is with these kind of trips that I'm doing at the moment like I say this wasn't planned directly it's just really I, I, my back's hurting and I've got to come back to the customers like I said tomorrow so why not just get a few photos and again stay over here why not you know at the end of the day I've got this camper yes it's a bit chilly now so I might need to put the diesel heater on so I'm just going to get in there and do myself something to eat and then uh, settle down for the night but at the end of the day you can't beat a view like this literally straight out the car hopefully the clouds are going to be like this in the morning very doubt it because it's supposed to be clear skies because sunrise is going to be over that way so it looked nice anyway
because in the camper I just keep basically tin stuff and I keep pot noodles and stuff like that so basically I'm just having a pot noodle for food it's, it's just easier I can't be bothered to cook because that means going out somewhere and going to get it because again like I say this wasn't directly planned that I was actually coming here and again most people are thinking stupid why, why not just travel home it's half an hour well why not just be here like I say if I would have just gone home I would have had something to eat and I wouldn't have been able to get some photos of the sunset hopefully they come out okay I don't know as you can see I've now got the bed out properly in here I'm under the quilt now nice and snuggly and warm so basically um yeah it, it's been an interesting evening at the end of the day I uh, thought well why not like I said got uh, hopefully got some nice pictures like I say I haven't looked yet anyway so what I'm going to do now is say good night and then I will see you in the morning now hopefully there'll be something um, nice to photo but it is supposed to be completely clear skies overnight so for you it's only going to be a few seconds for me you know it's a good few hours and then I'll see you in the morning and see what conditions we get anyway well good morning I hope you can hear me over the clicking noise of the diesel heater because it is a little bit cold this morning and that's the only problem with these cheap Chinese diesel heaters is the pump you know the click 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 but at the end of the day I'd rather be warm and listen to that anyway um, well I didn't have a bad night's sleep um, I did wake up at about I think it was about three o'clock um, which is sometimes normal for me and any bloke of my age knows that we have to get up sometimes in the middle of the night um, it's just one of those but it was a comfortable night and where I stopped yes it's off the main A51 so it is a it is a busy road but it wasn't too bad and I wasn't disturbed here so anyway well looking outside there's a few clouds but nothing major and I mean for the photography wise if I do any kind of photography or any pictures it's going to be of the same field literally because where it's rising is kind of where I was taking the pictures last night um, which you know is going to be a bit boring really so what I'm going to do is literally down the road is St Giles's Church in Whittington um, and like I say that's only five minutes away so I'm going to move the car down there and then see if we can get any nice pictures because the sun is rising right behind the church so if we can get into the churchyard you yeah, know we might get some nice shots that way anyway so we're going to move the car anyway Well, I've arrived at the church now. I'm in the um, churchyard now. Um, and I mean, as you can see, the sun is rising behind me. The church is just there. I mean, it doesn't look that good because you've got trees in the way. So it's not the kind of shot that I thought. But again, for me, it doesn't matter. I'm out, it's chilly though this morning. So I'm just gonna have a wander around and see if I can get a better view anyway. Well, it doesn't look like I can get the, a nice kind of shot because you've got no clouds in the sky. So it's just the gradual colour, if you know what I mean, as the sun is rising. Um, but I mean, like I say, it's not too bad. I mean, this is like I say, St. Giles's Church. Um, now, this is a little bit poignant as well, because literally a month as of tomorrow it would be the um, death of my father. And unfortunately, he passed away in St. Giles Hospice in Warsaw. Now, St. Giles um, Hospice, they do palliative care. Um, and there's a few different ones. I think there's, there's one in Whittington here, there's one in Warsaw, I think there's one in Tamworth, and there might, there might be another one. And they are a charity, um, and they do amazing work. I mean, they, they did amazing work for my father uh, for the last, like, two weeks of, of his life, you know, because, unfortunately, he had to be in palliative care. He had to be in that. Um, it, it, it was just... You know, and it was a lot better. And I mean, they allowed us to visit at any time, you know, and stuff like that. And it, it, they're, it's great to have these kind of charities and stuff like that. So again, you know, if you can, um, you know, give to charities, whichever one it is for me, you know, it's St. Giles, I will always give to St. Giles, you know, I, I, whatever, because like I say, it was just, it was just an amazing, you know, they just did amazing work, let's put it like that, and, and were so kind. And yes, they deal 
deal with it day in, day out with different patients and everything else. You know, not being nasty as soon as my father was like moved out of that room, they would have cleaned and then there's someone else in there because there's always need for that. There's always need for palliative care, unfortunately. So yeah, it's a, a little bit, um, yeah, kind of emotional, really. Yeah, I've been in St Giles Church because, like I say, yeah, the main one is in Whittington here. So yeah, um, yeah, one of those. Right, let's carry on. It is cold this morning. I've gone back to the camp and put me a bigger coat on because it is chilly. Um, but you can see, I mean, the sun is rising behind you at the moment, but you can see the colours in the sky. Yeah, this side is it's coming a little bit purples and everything else. And it's nice with the gravestones going off. So I may get a nice picture, may not. Uh, but again, it's nice to be out, even though it is chilly, listening to the birds sing, the, the bells have just chimed as well. Well, I think I'm going to end the video here because I've been having a wander around. I've got a few pictures and I've thoroughly enjoyed this morning as well, even though it is a little bit chilly. And with being in the camper as well last night, I mean, like I say, I mean, the customer literally from here is literally less than a two minute drive. Um, but I've got about an hour or so before I can go there. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to move the camper and I'm going to have a cup of coffee in a minute anyway before I set off. But yeah, like I say, I thoroughly enjoyed last night, even though it was only just getting out in the camper and just a little pulling off a main road um, but it doesn't matter like I say I'm out and I've got some nice pictures and you know from last night and this morning and like I say again it's somewhere different to, to photo really And like I say, I've enjoyed it at the end of the day. And like I have always say, if you don't get out there, you don't see these kind of things. You know, I wouldn't have thought I'd come to this church um, at any morning kind of thing. So, and yes, it's you know not the best colours and everything else, but again, it doesn't matter for me. Well, anyway, like I always say, I start rambling at the end of these videos. So, you know, if you like this kind of thing and me going out in the van and the photography side, please like, subscribe, like, do all that kind of YouTube stuff because it does help the channel, like I always say. And anyway, I'll see you in the next one. So bye. Bye for now. Bye. Right, sorry about any road noise. So what I'm going to do now is, um, I, there's a few clouds, um, no.